Good morning everyone. I'm Marielle Dumayak, applying for Teacher 1 for Senior High School. I'll be presenting to you my lesson plan on agricultural crop production. The main topic is all about hand tractor and floating dealer. This includes the types of hand tractor, the basic parts of hand tractor and floating dealer, and the common flotation structure designs of floating dealer. Good morning, class. Okay, let us pray first. Dario, please lead the prayer. Please take your seats. Dior, please check and monitor the attendance. By the way, before we are going to start our lesson, let me introduce myself. I am Engineer Mariel Dumayak from Kaluasan, the Gubi Bukol, and I'll be your teacher for agricultural crop production. Are you all ready for our topic for today? Okay, who among you here have seen or used floating dealer and hand tractor? Can you differentiate hand tractor from floating dealer? Yes, from the back. Okay, Arnel. Thank you. Who else? Another idea. Yes, Oliver. Thank you. All your answers are correct. To be specific, hand tractor, as you see on the screen, is a self-propelled machine having a single axle designed primarily to pull and propel trail-mounted agricultural implements and machinery. While floating tiller is a special type of walking type agricultural tractor with a front-mounted tilling wheel and equipped with a flotation structure commonly used in waterlogged fields. Before we start our lesson proper, let me ask you something. What are the common farm machinery used during land preparation? Anyone? Yes, Jean? Thank you. What about Judy Ann? Yes? Very good. Okay, class, please listen attentively. I send the screen because after our discussion, we will have a short piece. Okay, our topic for today is all about hand tractor and floating tiller. At the end of the discussion, you will be able to identify the types of hand tractor, the basic parts of hand tractor and floating tiller, and the common flotation structure designs of floating tiller. So let's proceed to the types of hand tractor. We have the pull type and the rotary tilling type. Pull type hand tractor is capable of pulling various kind of implements while rotary tilling type hand tractor is equipped with rotary tiller which cuts breaks up and mixes the soil and our plant residues. Rotary tilling type hand tractor has also two types. We have the PTO driven rotary tiller. This is an example of it. And the axle driven rotary tiller. Class, are you still with me? Before we are going to the basic parts of hand tractor and floating tiller. Do you have any questions about the types of hand tractor? Okay, let's now proceed to the basic parts of hand tractor and floating tiller. For the basic parts of hand tractor, we have the cage wheel, the axle, the hitch assembly, the mudguard, the engine mounting frame, the stand assembly, the handlebar, the handlebar adjustment, the hand grip, the throttle lever, the main clutch lever, the idler pulley, the transmission assembly, we have the input shaft pulley, the engine pulley, the belt guard, and the engine. For the floating tiller, we have 
the float, the mud guard, the handlebar, handle support, the throttle lever, the clutch lever, the clutch bar, the transmission case, the axle, the tilling wheel, you have tilling blades, the lifting handle, the input shaft pulley, the engine pulley, the V belt, the mounting bracket, the engine base, and the engine. Any questions or clarifications regarding the basic parts of hand tractor and floating tiller class? So let's proceed to the last part of our topic. It's all about the common flotation structure designs of floating tiller. We have four common flotation structure designs of floating tiller. First, we have the electrical shape. This is the side view and the rear view. So I have the sample picture of elliptical shape. Next is the bolt type. This is its side view and rear view. We have an example of bolt type. Next is the saucer type, the side and rear view, and the pontoon type. Okay class, I will divide you into two groups. And each group will be given a picture of floating pillar and hand tractor and you have to identify or label its parts and I will give you 10 minutes to finish the activity. Okay, please get one and pass. Okay, finish. So class, let's have some recap. Can you tell me the types of hand tractor? Very good. Enumerate the basic parts of hand tractor. Yes, thank you. What about the basic parts of floating tiller? Very good. Enumerate the common flotation structure designs of floating tiller. Thank you. Very good. Is everything clear, class? Further questions? Before we will have our exam, did you know that the engine is also known as the heart of the machine? Who can tell me the reason behind? Yes, Shudian? Correct. Because without the engine, the machine cannot operate. Okay, are we all ready for our exam? Please get one for sheet of paper for a short quiz. I will just dictate the question twice and please listen attentively. Ready? For numbers one and two, enumerate the two types of hand tractor. Are you done? For numbers three and four, enumerate the two types of rotary tilling hand tractor. Finish. For numbers 5 to 8, enumerate the four common designs of flotation structure of floating tiller. Okay, pens down. Please pass your papers to the front. For your assignment, please research on the farm machineries used during production and harvesting. Write it on a one-half sheet of paper. That's all for today, class. See you all again next meeting. Goodbye class.